Well, back home and a former government minister has stepped in to assist the recovery effort in the wake of the Adelaide Hills bushfire. The battle over for interstate firefighters now returning to their normal lives, but with memories of a job well done. They packed up their tents and hit the road in very different conditions from when they arrived. Heavy rain all the way to Adelaide Airport where they celebrated <laughs> and reflected on a job well done. Yeah, very proud. Very proud of our troops. 150 New South Wales firefighters were here for a challenging four days. We just helped out as much as we could wherever we were needed. They were awarded with some time to themselves before <laughs> flying out this morning. Thank you. A relaxed journey to Sydney where it was time to keep watch over their own backyard, safe in the knowledge that South Australia is ready to return the favour. Our volunteers are, are more than ready to go across and, and help out in, um, in New South Wales. On the fire ground, 140 CFS firefighters are still in action. The wet weather is actually helping us at the moment. Uh, it's deepening down the fire ground, uh, but we don't want too much rain. It's feared the deluge will wash the widespread ash into reservoirs and also contribute to more of this. The ground could now be washed away from them and they could fall. So we could see roads uh, closed again. Some of these roadblocks remain so strict that even insurance companies are struggling to get inside to assess the damage. That means it could be some time before we know exactly how much this disaster has cost the state. So far we know 27 homes are destroyed along with 117 sheds and outbuildings. Helping the victims get back on their feet will be former State Government Minister Carleen Maywald, announced today as the recovery coordinator. I live in the country. Um, I have a horse and vineyard property uh, down at Langhorn Creek. Um, I actually understand how country communities work. She was also involved in the recovery effort after the Air Peninsula bushfires which sparked almost exactly 10 years ago. The anniversary to be marked in Port Lincoln this Sunday. Ben Avery, Nine News.